Last time Cyclone attended a secret seminar and Valhalla got shocked while heavily pregnant. The next morning it was everyone's birthday. Alexandra began childhood by helping me clean up. The youngest triplet, Erica, was forgotten on the frosty ground outside as the family watched Charlotte blow out her candles indoors. We have only two cribs and no money. This should be fun. What about Erica? Who cares about Erica? We're having a party. Oh no, Erica. I can just see you out the window. Oh, Val, you can't use the toilet in here anymore. This is madness. Okay. The toilet is going to have to go in here. And I guess we'll put the shower in the bedroom for now. Now that they're children, we've got issues with privacy. What are you doing, Val? Okay, Charlotte is now a child. So she was excitable and good. She is now also loves the heat. Sims that love the heat enjoy warm weather and can stay out longer before getting sunburnt. All right. And cute pajamas. Our bows have turned yellow. Oh my, she does not look that much like Valhalla. She's got an angular face. Oh, oh, let's not, let's not go overboard with the cake, guys. Okay. So, we need a third crib. <laughs> and we have 133 simoleons. Uh, okay. Afford this crib? I don't think that we can. Insufficient funds. Yeah, that's a problem. Wow, we are way too poor to have this many kids. Even the cheapest crib is 275. So that means one thing, Val. You really need to go to the consignment store. And so after you're done peeing, eat some waffles and you gotta go. And Cyclone, you need to pee as well, I see. Let's go ahead and do that. And somebody needs to feed poor Erica, who is on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, Erica. We'll resolve this soon. Okay, once Cyclone is done on the pot, Charlotte needs to go. I need to decide what I want these kids to do. Kids can do a lot of things. Let's let's hand over our bears to the babies. And Val, could you give them some slightly more grown-up toys? Okay, Cyclone. You need to go work on a report badly, but Val's got to Uh-oh, what's going on here? We're hugging. Okay. You've had your breakfast. We need to get rid of this cake. Oh man, this is a mess. Cake plates. Some leftover cake randomly. Val, 
seriously get to the consignment store. Let's sell some of these things that Cyclone found. Anybody else got junk in their inventory? Okay, to the store. Whoops. Psych, you gotta hold down the fort till she's back. Shouldn't be too bad, you're watching TV. We've got junky newspapers. Oh, we've got mail. I wonder if kids can get the mail. That would be nice. Wait a minute, learn fishing skill? Why is that? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Can you get the mail? Oh dear, we can donate to charity. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, thank you for putting away that leftover I didn't notice. That was awesome. So how are these babies, man? This is gonna be really exciting. Okay, Val, we're counting on you to win some bread. We need to deal with some of these outfits these people are wearing. Well, we can buy a bear for 39 simoleons here, but I think that you can buy them in the regular shop for 30. Oh, it seemed we could not consign our magical gnome, so we badly need the money, so we're going to sell him. Sorry, magical gnome. We also could not sell this sketch, so... That is a very strange sketch, but what are you going to do? All right. Val, you wanted to buy an elixir. Let's do that. Bye. Charlotte just became a child. We're very proud. We picked up Erica. Cyclone is a couch potato. He really likes the TV. And let's sort out these outfits. Yeah, we are gonna have to figure out where they're going to sleep, but Magical Gnome of Invention and that plutonium that I think is waiting for us in the mailbox will deal with that for us. We're at the elixir shop, and Val wants to buy an elixir. Well, that sounds mean, the melancholy serum. Procreation elixir recipe book? I have no idea what any of this stuff is. I should probably go look some of it up. Restores magic power. Oh boy, and now we're getting expensive. Well, that looks like an elixir. That might be an elixir. It's only 49 simoleons. Let's just try that. Yeah, that counted. Okay. Have a child. 
That is one thing we're probably not going to do again. Buy a bunk bed. Yeah, we're going to need one of those pretty badly. Okay, Val. You're going to have to go out again in a bit, but for now you can come home. And, okay, Charlotte is having a fit because she can't get to the mirror. What? Change appearance? Oh no, that's fine. Whoa, what's happening here? You are inside the dresser. You know, before you plan outfit, I'd really like to do your hair. Oh, everybody's stuck. Really? I take it the lonely baby is not the baby you're holding. Okay, Jasmine is lonely. Actually, let's just get that up a little bit. Whoa, what happened here? How did you get that costume? Change your appearance, for heaven's sake. Oh, I see the problem. I can't use that mirror because there's a dryer in front of it. I think we're clear over here, yeah. We just picked up Jasmine. Let's try this again. Change appearance. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have a foot stomping party. Okay, Alexandra has had her hair fixed, and we still need to do her outfits. She does have a very large, very flat, long nose, so I think the bangs kind of help with that. Oh, Val is home. Okay, Alexandra is now dressed as well. Charlotte, you didn't seem to adjust your hair. Where did you get that costume? We don't have a costume box. This is very strange. Can you get them from the dresser? No. I don't know how you did that. So Charlotte is apparently wearing goggles and a bike hat and we cannot see her eyes under the goggles. So first we need to remove them and then we can fix her hair. Good heavens. So, while we're doing that... Oops. So, Alexandra actually doesn't look too bad. I think it was Supernatural added this, the little leggings and top that she has on the... Well, I can't get... Charlotte to remove her goggles to fix her hair, so I'm not sure what to do here. When I go into the chained outfit, she's not wearing the goggles, but when I go to change hair, she is wearing the goggles. This is really ridiculous. I'm going to try to change her into her athletic stuff. And maybe that will remove the goggles so I can change her hair. This is really weird. I have no idea what she's wearing for athletic. That's even different from what she was wearing earlier, so I'm, I think there's something wrong.
Well, we seem to be having a pretty major problem here because when I went in to change her hair this time, not all my hairstyles were even available. I seem to have only base game and seasons. So, I don't know what to make of this, but let's see if she's still got her goggles on. Oh, this is a terrible place for the mirror. No, okay, the goggles are off. So that's good. I don't know what's going on here. Well, we'll have a look at it again Aww. off camera later. All right, five o'clock. Val's got to go to the consignment shop. This is complete mayhem in here. Like I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so Cyclone, you can hang out until she's back from that later. Sleep until fully rested. Well, you do need a nap. What's going on here? We're doing tag. And we're outside without our coats. That's wonderful, fabulous, fantastic. There's plutonium in that mailbox that will help us. Okay, let's get the mail. We're done with tag. And we'll fix up poor Kelda. Change diaper. Give bottle. Get our butt to the consignment store. Valhalla received plutonium ingot. Congratulations, Valhalla has been conferred the new title of duct tape rigger by the Sunset Valley Town Council in recognition of her valuable contribution to the workforce. Duct tape is a must-have tool for every inventor. It's good to focus on the fundamentals and work your way upwards in the inventing industry. We sold 551 simoleons and paid 51 in consignment fees today. That's great. We've earned a promotion. Cyclone got a letter from Holly Alto. It reads, I find you attractive, but couldn't tell you in person. Wait. Oh, you're, are you going to take Kelda with you? Okay, Kelda's going to visit the consignment store. Great. Fantastic. Don't forget her there. That'll be good. So, Cyclone, we've got some minor issues with the babies. I know you're going to be thrilled. So that is Jasmine. Jasmine needs a diaper and a little bit of snuggling. And Erica needs a diaper and a bottle. And let's sell our plutonium. Ah. 2689. This is why we always smelt, by the way. And I'm just going to sell this elixir back. I wonder if I could have consigned that. Oh well. Alright, now we have enough money for as many beds as we like. And we can probably add a bathroom onto the house, which would be great. And what's going on in here with you two? She's going to take a shower. Yeah, before we do that, let's just go ahead and add on, so I will be back after I do that. So after much deliberation and a few phone calls and some meals, I am now back, and I have done a lot of work on our little house. You can see that we are almost completely out of money. We have 43 simoleons remaining. If we had any more, I would use it to decorate, because I can see that this is going to be a bottomless pit for my simoleons, this house. So we are still tiny, but we have we've gained a tree, which looks very nice in, in summer. And I went a little bit crazy landscaping the back. We're very low on money, so we're using a lot of one simoleon hydrangeas. Landscaping your builds, by the way, I'm obviously not the best builder anyone's ever seen, but 
it's really helpful because it really helps make things look less you know stark and sparse and you can see that just with these one simoleon bushes and five simoleon rocks the house just looks a lot better than it would bare although you didn't see it bare like i did so maybe that's not as evident I did some stuff with terrain paints in the front. I'm not really happy with it, so that's probably going to be addressed again. We now have a little bit of outdoor lighting. It looks kind of weird in the frost. Not really sure about it. So let's have a look inside. Inside, we've got a bathroom. That's one thing. I went a little bit crazy with the lilac. Uh, we might need to revisit this and the wall textures. Well, what are you going to do? I've also extended our nursery. Things have gone a bit crazy in here. We've got three colors of beds. We've got stuff on the wall. We've got lamps. We've got babies on the floor. I, I did a lot of move objects, so my sims are probably not standing where they were when I left them, but we haven't unpaused yet. And I crammed the washer and dryer over here. They've turned a very sad color. That will probably change as well. I think the parents' room is probably just about the same. They have gained a hamper. And the twins have gained their own room. I let them help choose the decorating, so it's probably not the most tasteful adult decorating you're ever going to see. And they've got some bunk beds. I let them pick their blankets. I really don't care who sleeps in which bed though. You know, favorite color. Charlotte likes turquoise and Alexandra likes lime. I managed to afford a window for them. And, oh, did I show you the back of the house? I'm not sure that I... Let's, let's look at it in daylight. There we go. So we've made a little stucco addition, and that is the girls' room. And I've also changed the exterior of the house. We have wood siding now, mixed with brick and the stucco. Again, that will probably not be permanent. I, I tend to change my exterior a lot on my houses. And somehow I managed to get a roof on this. I don't know exactly how I did it. There are about 13 pieces of roof under that really hate roofing in this game. Glad that's over. Yay.